Hi guys, Mysterious Cat Island back with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Final Fantasy VII. Sorry. Uh, and we're still in the Mega Reactor. Let's get out of here. My fingers are so cold. Ten minutes to detonation. Yep, and they throw up a timer. Ten minutes is more than enough time to get out of here, even with random encounters. No, I'm not gonna save. We'll be fine. Get up on the ladder and go, go, go. Uh, there are a couple things you do have to do, but even still, ten minutes is plenty of time. I will warn you, going into your menu will waste time. The timer will not stop <coughs> while you're in the menu. Sorry, I'm still coughing. Um, and timer will not stop during random encounters. So if you have, like, one of these bitches, we're going to have Barrett attack these guys in the back, and since these guys normally take two hits, I'm going to have Cloud take care of him with some Bolt, because that'll kill him in one hit. Waste less time. Alright. And... Oh, nope. Attack that guy. Oh, fire magic. How nice. And we're gonna do ice on this guy, because I haven't shown off the ice spell yet. Da 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 da! Boom, it's ice. Okay. Nothing particularly special. Okay. And down he goes. So the average battle is gonna take you about a minute. Uh, 45 seconds to a minute, depending on how many enemies you've got. Get some potions. I will hoard those. Okay. Come back down here. Talk to Jesse. So we help her get our leg unstuck. You can leave her there. Don't be a dick. Come on. Follow Wheaton's law. Okay. Pixel perfect on the ladder. There we go, we jump automatically. I'm wary of uh, RPGs with platformer elements because uh, because I've played Xenogears and the platformer elements in that game are not great. Ugh, the Tower of Babel still haunts me. Just, it's pretty much back the way you came. Switch on, take us back upstairs. I've been drinking the same cup of lukewarm coffee since, uh, it's about 10.30 this morning. It's, uh, it's 3.45. <laughs> okay. Talk to Jesse. Get into a fight. Um, yeah, I have one of those, it's not a Yeti cup, it's, it's like a Yeti cup. It's like an off-brand Yeti cup. That keeps my coffee warm, but, uh... Doesn't last quite as long. Does the job, though. I really should have finished this cup like ages ago and made myself a fresh one. Okay. Now that we've leveled up a little bit, those guys can be killed in about one hit. So that's handy. Wouldn't bother healing. We're okay on HP and everything here. Uh, one of the great things about this game is that you start with, like, almost 300 HP. Unlike Final Fantasy VI, where you start with, like, 40, 45, something like that. Everybody starts super low. Then again, the enemies only hit you for like six HP apiece. So yeah, it's a it's balanced, I guess. Can we kill these guys in one hit, or am I imagining things? Okay. At least Cloud can. I don't know about Barrett. He's a level behind. Okay, so they have 42 HP, something like that. That's okay. We should still make it out of here at about the five minute mark. Uh, if you didn't get the chest earlier in the little side room there, I would advise you get it now. I know it's only a phoenix down, but early on in the game, some items can be hard to come by. This is automated, so you're automatically going to run. He's going to stop and help her, who suddenly became clumsy. 
Even though she's a still alive eco terrorist, I, I don't know. And kaboom! Uh, some shit blows up. Yep. Yeah. And we get little hackery noises. Oh yeah. And I guess we're trapped in a pipe. They don't really explain where we are. But it looks blocked off on both edges. Kaboom! And we get another explosion. It's actually weird because through the headphones I'm hearing the audio uh, slightly delayed than I am through uh, my speakers on my TV. Not that I've got them turned up very loud or anything, it's just really quiet where I live. Unless a train rolls by, because I moved an hour away from where I used to live and there's still a train problem. There's a lot of trains around here. Uh, I guess it's probably because I live in a big manufacturing area, and always sort of have. The last place it was still meal, uh, still meal, mills. I can talk, who says I can? Um... And, uh, here, I guess it's wood and, uh, cloth manufacturing, and I'm still in the same state I lived in, I don't know. It's weird. There's probably some, uh, steel yards around here and everything, too. So, come up the stairs, come up here, why does my ear itch? There we go. Oh, these new headphones are so comfy. Oh, no. Hey, lady, we saw you earlier. Uh, let's try nothing. Hey, listen. If you tell her to leave, uh, she will. And you don't get any more conversation with her. Uh, she's obviously a flower girl, so she's got a basket full of flowers. Let's buy one. For a gill apiece. How she pays the bills like that, I... I don't know. It's actually a throwback to things people used to do during the uh, Regency and Victorian days, as they would sell flowers. And she runs off. Whoop. And you can explore there a little bit. We're not gonna. I don't know if you can talk to any of these guys. They pretty much just run around. Whoop. You can get caught on little random shit in the background. Uh, I don't know, ma'am. Although, it looks like your text was originally much... Ooh. Hey, the shiny thing. Got a potion. Where's our HP at, by the way? Okay, we are all healed up, thankfully. Actually, this guy's standing here. What's he got to say for himself? Go around. Uh oh, sounds like you've got some preachers around here. Avalanche. Oh, we apparently are master masters of graffiti as well. Come down here. Do to do, do. This looks like some housing, I guess. Hey me, what? Uh you can fight them if you want. If you don't make a decision, uh, you'll automatically get into a fight with them. You can choose to run away if you want. I'd like the experience points. It's good to be at a good level through here. Well, a good level level later on. And these guys are these guys are no good corpse though. The same guys you fought in the facility. I'm trying to hit you with your billy their billy clubs. Got a crit hit that time. Nice. Alright. Yeah, they're not gonna give me a ton of experience, but uh I'll take it. Fight them! They're firing machine guns and not hitting me or their compatriots, so... Go figure. You can find as many of them as you want. You can run away if you want. I'm not gonna judge you either way. Not everybody wants to fight all the time, but... I like having the experience, but that's just me. You know what else I'm not gonna judge about? If you use cheat codes. Say you just wanna play a game for the story don't want to, you know, have to grind for it. That's okay. I feel you. Uh, 
Okay. Here's the thing. At some point, you're gonna have to run. Oh, it just shows by them because I didn't pick fast enough. Uh, you get an attack from both sides, which is a pincer attack, which, to be honest, does not happen often in this game. Uh, I can think of only a very few occasions when you're going to have a pincer attack in this game. Which is good, because they happen all the fucking time in Final Fantasy VI. Hey look, two Tyrannosaurus <laughs> the two Tyrannosauruses in a pincer attack! Ugh. The worst. Okay. Eh, we're almost to the next level. And, uh, eh, we're surrounded. Oh, what's that sound? And, uh, we get a, a cool little cutscene, which is meant to look badass. But it sort of looks weird since he's all, like, super deformed. I know it was the style, but it was just weird. I don't know. And we get trains. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh about that. It's apparently, you just have the danger of dying in the street. No way, I hadn't paid that motherfucker yet. Like, I imagine Barrett is supposed to be, like, a Mr. T ripoff. But, better. And you ask, how could you be better than Mr. T? Well, everyone thought Chuck Norris was so fucking great, but he's actually an asshole, so. You look like you could be a mind reader. We don't know. But he's got, like, the whole, like, stubble thing, like Mr. T going on, and... Big broad shoulders. Hmm. And yeah, this is certainly some riveting scenes. And we fly in like a mad person. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> so what Cloud do? Well, sort of. Shit. That's actually one of the few swears they don't censor out, which is really weird. Because they censor a lot of his swearing in this game. Which is so sad, because my little 11-year-old self was ready for it. That was the year I started swearing, too. Good job, video game, corrupting an 11-year-old child. Although my parents didn't know I swear and swore until, like, I was 16, so... Ooh! Hot stuff, alright. Yeah, don't pump up his ego. He doesn't need that. Ooh, don't know why I'm so tired. It's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, I was up late. That's what it was. Oh, one of the advantages about living where I do now is I have a hot tub. I can get it all the time. And since it's cold, it's so nice. And it's good for my shoulders. And the rest of my achy, old person body. Seems like, uh... Jesse got a little bit of a crush. That's cute. I don't know that I've ever seen any nicer artwork of her or uh, the other red shirt designs. I'm sure they exist. Uh, there was a website I used to go for all that stuff, and that was RPG Gamer. Or RP Gamer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's a thing mentioned here you should remember for later. I'm not gonna say what it was, but. <laughs> oh shit, look at these punks. Okay. 
Because we're not suspicious looking at all. Sort of glad that Cloud's not the only one with Popeye arms. You can talk to people back here. That guy lives on this train. Yeah, we're based somewhere in the slums. Nah. Sorry if I clicked through that a little too fast. I don't I wanna bother the other passengers. I didn't actually mean to do that. They're gonna explain what security mode is here in a few minutes. Keep dreaming, Pudge. Sure, I'll come look at the map of the rail system with you. Sounds like a very British thing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> Bombs and mutters, things that go boom. It's not very ladylike of you, Jesse. That's okay. I like Jesse. Oof. I swear, it's so cold in here, I'm wearing socks. I don't like socks. I hate socks. And I know you're thinking, who the fuck hates socks? Everybody loves socks. They're all nice and warm. Okay, so we have the city of Midgar. Which, if you know anything about Norse mythology, you'll know what Midgar was. It was the city, or it was the land of humans, basically. The plate. We'll see more about the plate later. Probably not in this episode, though. Maybe in the next episode, because we're getting a little close on time. So eight reactors, hold up the plate, provide Midgar with electricity. That's what happens when you amalgamate towns into a larger entity. I'm pretty sure that's what happened with London. London used to be a bunch of small towns, and as London, the city center grew, it just swallowed up those towns. I don't know why they bother to explain so much of the train stuff with us. Um, because it's really not that important. I guess it's just world building. Yep. Which is a little big brothery, but you know. No big deal, right? This is basically, I mean, everyone who's played Final Fantasy VII knows that it's really just an allegory for oil. The Mako is oil. It's, you know, part of the planet and taking it kills the planet and blah, 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 blah. And that we're basically, li they're basically living in an oligarchy, which is funny. Um, since it's, you know, we'll see, we'll see more about that later, but. Yeah, all y'all look suspicious. With your headbands and your weird clothing and your clam digger pants. Lovely. Sorry for the flashing guys, that's something I can't really avoid. The game does that. Alright. Thankfully, that's over. And... Okay. Walk around a little bit more. We can see the surface. I don't think we actually look at the window, though. <coughs> Damn it, I hope I hadn't captured that. Sorry. It's one of those times where I've got, like, a little bit of sugar in my throat. <coughs> Microphone's too good. Mm. I'll, 
try to cut that out though. So basically, we're going to see it here in a few minutes, is everybody here lives in poverty uh, under a plate that keeps you from seeing the sky. There are two cities, basically, sort of. Well, there's like nine cities. There's the eight cities under the plate, and then there's a city on top of the plate. Because of that fucking pizza. That's what they call it. Damn it, come on. Yeah, basically, everybody lives a shitty ass life who lives in the slums. Whereas, the rich people live up top. Cloud, that's a very. Um, how do I. Why doesn't everyone buy mansions? Comment. Well, there's that too. And there is a train going through. I hope you guys can't hear it. It might come through in the capture though. There's a train going through while I'm on a train in the game. Guess that's the way it happens. Wow, Cloud, that's some deep shit. And we got a nice little shot of the train. Let's waste 10 seconds of cutscene on this. No, because it shows you, you know, what the world these people live in is like. Obviously, it's not very pretty. It's sort of shitty. Alright, we're here at the train station. Sorry we spent most of this episode on a train, but... Tetsuya Nomura, what's with you and giving the characters big feet? And here's our group being suspicious again. Okay, so it looks like these episodes might round out to be 25-30 minutes apiece. Because we're at about the 23 minute mark before cuts. Not that I've got many cuts to do. It's mostly me trying to cut out my coughing. Yeah. It's weird that he says y'all. That's, that's a very Southern American thing. I don't mean South America, I mean the Southern of the United States of America. Hey y'all, watch this. Like that. Okay, I did miss my microphone back. Awesome. Okay, meet back at the hideout. Everybody runs off. I don't think we can talk to the guard. We can talk to these guys. Oh my. Wow. It's weird that all she has to say is wow. Yeah, go fuck around in the graveyard. The train graveyard. They're weird. I don't know. They want to get it up to shit. So, you're supposed to follow everybody down here. We're going to go up here first. Mostly because they're a safe one. <laughs> okay. We're going to go ahead and save the game and stop for... Shit. I keep doing that. We're going to go ahead and save the game and stop here for the day, guys. Um, thanks for watching. We'll pick it up the next time and explore the slums a little bit. I'm not going to save over my emo douche. <laughs> but, uh... Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.